students the next chapter is uh, primitive values wrapper classes and typecasting in java first of all we are going to see what are data types okay data type is a way of dictating java what type of data will be will a variable hold okay if it is an integer variable integer then float means float string means string character means character so this is called data types okay the variable uh, will hold a value yeah, and the data type will indicate whether it is an integer value or a float value character value or a string value okay java data types of two types first one is primitive it is otherwise called as fundamental or intrinsic data type second one is reference or composite or extrinsic data type now we are going to see what are primitive data types or fundamental data types so these data types which form a part of java are used to represent basic data values java provides eight different uh, primitive types they are byte short integer long float double character and boolean here the we will see the size of this byte means 8 bits integer 32 bits float 32 bits character 16 bits short 16 bits long 64 bits double 64 bits and boolean 8 bits next one is reference data types or it is always called as composite data type reference or composite data types or secondary type of data it composed or constructed using primitive data types okay they may be uh, this class array in array in the array interface and string all are coming under this composite data type next is next is type conversion in a mathematical expression the conversion of data type of the resulting value from one type to another okay one type to another uh, if it is a integer then we are converting it into a float okay that is one type to another is called type conversion the resultant data type of an expression can be categorized into two segments the first one is implicit type conversion second one is explicit type conversion we are going to see this uh, two types the next first one is implicit type conversion implicit type conversion is an automatic type conversion by the compiler so if the data types are two different data types are here that is integer and double so it will see the uh, size integer means 4 bytes and double means 8 bytes so we are going to print uh, print the value of y so the value of y will be in double because it is 8 bytes the size of double is higher so implicit type conversion means the conversion will be take uh, conversion type will be taken by the compiler automatically okay next one is explicit type conversion in explicit type this explicit type conversion also known as type casting okay so this explicit type conversion is also known as typecasting is a type conversion by the user so the so in implicit type of conversion the conversion is done automatically by a compiler but in the case of explicit type conversion the conversion is done by the user according to their choice here see double the x variable data type is double 10.5 and next one y variable hold the value x it is an integer value so double 8 bytes integer 4 bytes our answer should be in uh, double but see this is the value double x equal to 10.5 but here we are converting it as an integer that is i n t y equal to i n t x integer we are go we are converting the value of x from double to integer this is called type casting so in explicit type conversion we will convert the output according to the data type of the output according to the user's choice okay students
Next one is wrapper classes. Wrapper classes are part of Java standard library java.lang and these converts primitive data types into an object dot java uh, object okay uh, so wrapper classes are the part of java standard library java.lang and these converts primitive data types primitive data types in an object okay it will convert the primitive data types in an object java provides the following wrapper classes so see this is a data type boolean here all should be the first letter should be the small letters but in the wrapper classes all are in capital letters okay now we are going to see some questions uh, first one first of all we are going to see this one dash is used to allocate exact space for storage of a value data type second one is the data types of byte uh, will range from minus 128 to 127 then uh, the character type data is enclosed within a single quote uh, dash is the higher most data type double okay uh, now question answers five set of character is assigned to string variable the ascii code of uppercase letter ranges from 65 to 90 the data type for the values true or false is called as a boolean type data resulting data type of expression this will be double class is an example of non primitive data type byte is lower data type than short then we will move on to short type answers state two categories of data types primitive and non primitive data types question number two distinguish between integer and floating constant we have to divide it into two columns first we have to write, explain about the integer constant and we have to explain about the floating constant next primitive and non primitive data types we are we are um, uh, only two marks three marks questions will become so you have to write any three points for this primitive and non primitive data types okay the next one is write down the data type of the following integer ka int character char fractional number means double a special character means the data type is char char next what is meant by boolean type data explain with the example boolean type data means it will consist of only two values that is true or false and you have to type uh, write the size of these data types okay next is what do you understand by type conversion the process of converting one predefined type into another predefined another type is called as type conversion okay students the next question is define the following with an example implicit type conversion implicit type conversion means um, the result of is a mixed mode expression is obtained in the higher most data of the variable without any intervention of the user it is done by the compiler and you have to write one example explicit means it can be converted by uh, the resultant uh, uh, resultant data type is converted by the user according to the user's choice okay and then you have to write uh, one example next question is explain the need to use suffix l in the long type data type the default data type of integer literal is int so if if l is tried to assign a value to a variable then long type is like this long world population sees it is a bigger integer so if you put uh, l with the uh, that variable name means it is a large value see correct way to assign a long value is like this okay so this is the difference between long and integer value the next question is differentiate single precision and double precision values okay single precision format uses total of 32 bits to represent fractional numbers out of that 32 bits 24 are used to represent significant and 8 bits are used to represent the exponent okay double permission uh, permission 
format uses total 64 bits to represent the fra fractional numbers okay fractional numbers out of that 53 bits are used to represent the significant and 11 bits are used to represent the exponent double precision format stores fractional numbers at higher accuracy than single precision format the next flow type uh, data type stores a number in single precision format whereas double type stores the number in the double precision format the next one is uh, the non primitive data type is also referred to reference type explain why okay unlike primitive data type the allocation of non primitive data type takes place in dynamic memory the accessing of non primitive data type is based on their references that is the cell that is the address of this uh, memory address of that uh, data type hence non primitive data types are also referred to as reference types the next one is type casting the process of converting one predefined data type into another is called as a type casting next predict the uh, predict predict the return data type of the following okay so first one is integer the next variable is double means the output is in double one is float mm, and uh, here we are seeing some calculations so it is will be in double because see p equal to m upon 3 into math dot power of uh, 4 power 3 so the answer will be in double okay the next one is what are the data types for the following explicit functions float this so we'll split this by float then byte then double float upon byte means float float plus double is double here also integer double then character string okay so integer into double is double then character into short means short so double plus short is double okay students the next one is see character plus float minus byte into double character plus float my float minus byte into double is double so now when we add the character and the float will get float float minus double means double okay like this you have to do all these things so this chapter is uh, ending here and uh, you learn all the question answers and uh, in, uh, from the beginning to top you have to learn everything okay so in class 9 also you studied about this chapter primitive types and uh, primitive values and wrapper classes so take any one book uh, in the 12th class book i think the chapter is missing there so you can take any book uh, you can read the book and understand it you already know how to learn the question answers in these chapters so this chapter is over here